Kenya has rebased its gross domestic product, a move that has catapulted the East African nation to the ninth largest economy in sub-Saharan Africa. These new numbers are credi credible and they constitute an important improvement in the economic and statistical knowledge base for Kenya. The analysis I've seen indicates that Kenya's economy is currently about a quarter larger than earlier estimated in GDP terms and that Kenya attained lower middle income country status in 2012 and that's based on the rebased gross national income per capita measures. We have therefore revised the national accounts for the period 2006 to 2013. In doing so, the national output for 2013 has been revised from 3.8 trillion shillings to the, in the previous estimates to 4.76 trillion shillings. The growth rate for 2013 has also been adjusted, therefore, from 4.7% to 5.7%. The main reason for this change was occasioned by the improved coverage of data and the revised input-output production structure, which had been underestimated in the past. The country's new GDP per capita now stands at 1,246 US dollars, up from an earlier 964 US dollars, surpassing the World Bank's benchmark of 1,036 US dollars, leaving Kenyans to wonder whether the results of this rebasing exercise will affect Kenya's access to World Bank's group finance and knowledge resources. They will not. That's the short answer. While the results show that Kenya did in fact attain lower middle income country status in 2012, Kenya remains eligible for concessional financing from the bank's International Development Association, IDA, window. The World Bank Group's country classifications are often confused with our operational categories. Both are based on Atlas GNI per capita measures, but the cutoffs and thresholds differ. The new figures released by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics saw agriculture, manufacturing, and the real estate sector account for most of the change in the new level of GDP. This is the sixth time that the country has revised its national account statistics. What we're launching today is an ongoing process. It's not something that's over and done with and then we all go back to where we were. We're constantly trying to move forward and the Bureau, perhaps you are unaware, it's among the top statistical institutions in the continent. I mean, we're ranked right up there close to the best. And this is a matter of pride. So, how does rebasing help the average citizen? The low-income manners, uh, life doesn't change for them. But, uh, of course, it has been said that the middle income uh, in Kenya, the number of people who are joining the middle income in Kenya are increasing. To them, it has an impact. But for the low-income manners, I don't think it has an impact. To lower the cost of living, I think the government should um, lower the uh, cost of production lower the cost of raw materials used to produce because by lowering this uh, in turn um, the cost of these necessities will be low. We're not feeling that uh, that uh, impact of the growing of the economy because like we see the, the people in the high income areas are the ones who are benefiting with the economic growth. Let me give you an illustration. We all now have access to high resolution cameras in our cell phones, in our pockets and I'm sure we would all be very unhappy if that's taken away from us. The same can be said about statistics. Better statistics is like having higher resolution devices that would allow us to appreciate better the complexities, especially in an economy such as the Kenyan economy, where you have fast innovation in some sectors and challenges, challenges in bringing down poverty as fast as we would all wish. So all these complexities can be much better appreciated with the upgrade of the information that, that is taking place today. However, 
According to state officials, the new GDP estimates do not imply that Kenya is now a richer country. An increase in GDP per capita does not necessarily mean that Kenyans will be better off, nor does it imply that the existing socio-economic challenges have ceased to exist. Kenyans will be just as poor or just as wealthy as they were a year ago. All that the new GDP estimates tell us is that the economy is a lot worth more than we had thought. It tells us nothing about how that wealth is distributed. This means that countries with the same GDP per capita may have radically different levels of poverty and inequality. Nonetheless, the government says they will be working hard to ensure that the impact of this rebasing is felt by ordinary Kenyans. Uh, rebasing needs to be done every five years, so I believe if uh, again uh, there is a, uh, an updated revision, I mean five years is already like lapsed by now, so it may require another future update uh, to capture what has uh, happened over the last five years. So for us, uh, uh, we know that it will have some implication on some of the, our mac uh, macro numbers in terms of our, our debt ratios, our fiscal deficit ratios, our current account ratios, because GDP is really the base of all these numbers. So uh, we will be studying more carefully uh, what the implications these have, and uh, we will welcome an opportunity for us to give you our perspective on what these uh, new variables means for our, for our economy going forward. While Kenya is the first East African country to rebase its economy using the new model, its peers are expected to follow suit.